Hello everybody, it's Thomas Lucas here. Welcome back to another day out video. Yes, I am uh, on a heritage line. So today I am doing Neen Valley Railway. Oh, hello. Oh, we've never seen that before. Oh, and today I'm here because of one, one special reason. And the reason for that is that A4 steam locomotive Sonandra Gresley is here. Uh, but currently, it's currently behind a bit of smoke at the moment, so I'm just going to wait a minute. But as you can see, we've got the Polish tanker still here. Top tanker, which is uh, boiler taken out, and the cabs are gone. And you've got that amazing engine, which is also running today. And there's the Nigel Gresley right there. So the Battle of Britain is currently stationed away in there somewhere. You can probably just see it. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, there it is, Sun Andrew Grizzly. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed this day out video. And let's spot some heritage trains. And so, I have taken a trip to Yarnwell, which is the the end of the line. And Sun Andrew Grizzly has pulled me to a uh, half mile this way uh, to one end of the line, which is Yarnwell, of course. And Sun Andrew Grizzly is going to be turned around. And put that to the other end. So I will see it go around here, then uh, so on. Okay, so now we'll go around its train. Okay, so now so Sadar Dr. will now go around on the other track to come out to the other side of the train. And here she comes. She comes reversing up the touch right. Okay, so now she will return to uh Moving back towards her train, or his train, I should say. Oh, oh that was close. It's a bit more. Ah, she's there. And she's now at Peterborough. Well, he, so I keep saying she, but that's she, he. Should I now say he? Oh, there goes the thing. Some power back. Will it move off? I've well, got no idea, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but, uh, yeah. And sure, I'll move over there to go of water, then I should be able to uh, possibly see some freight trains going past. I already have seen one, but I should say on it. Oh! That's the end of that. Okay, so she just moved back. Oh, he. he just moved back. Anyway, let's wait for it to move off. 
and I moved it to different spots to make a British look. And yeah, she'll now move off to gain the water from over there. There's the open the door for the tender, tender walkway, corridor tender. So now it's a logical question, we'll now wait here for a bit, get some water, and should give me enough time to go over and uh, see what's going on on the East Coast Main Line. I've just noticed there's, a, there's two HST, a class 43 HST power cars in here. So this one here, which I've just looked around the corner, it's 43045 just sat there. But the old steam engine which is just sat there. Uh, got a few banana wagons. I, I think that looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, come on, they look absolutely splendid. Uh, it got, I think, it got some very HST, uh, HST uh, um, poach in there, uh, which looks very nice. And the number first group company. I don't, I don't think I can get the number of that, but I think this is the bit where you can see the number. Nice, right, good going. But, uh, yeah. very good. Yeah. There's, uh, um, 23.016. And especially, so now I'm going to wait for Sonic Grizzly to go around its train and come around over here. Which would be exciting. Catching that. Truth. Circle coming in. Yeah, that looks pretty nice actually.
crap machine going around. DR985000, uh, 500, sorry. Interesting. Oh yes, the Muller Railway. What I've been looking for for a long time. So here we have uh, DMUs, seeing the signs here. A little, of a lovely uh, crossing there. Oh, and there goes a Vescus Railway's class 47, 47, 245 on the train. That's very nice. You can sound like that uh, tra trap machine going around. And there goes a, one a 170. And also we have a class 37 on the some NERTs. 37706 is on, on that one. Uh, Ivat uh, in the um, BR Black there. But also, we now have a brand new class 37 running, which is this one 37422, running some Mark 1 coaches. And also, here we have uh, actually a squadron just sat there behind the freight train. And also, the police class 37. Very nice. What number is that on there? Uh, there's no number. I believe. <coughs> We're looking really good. Yeah, there goes the uh, southwestern try uh, southwestern southwest uh, trains. That's one one seventy on the train. Forty seven. Just sat there. <coughs> That's a nice BR green. And we've got Smoky Joe over there as well. Smoky Joe! And there's two HSTs there. There's one there. <coughs> one over there. That's in the. Uh, both in the intercity. Cultural Classic is setting up there. Oh, no. Oh, and the 47 has stopped. With the 37 still going around. Now the Kershaw class 37 is now on the move. And looking up, yeah, you've got 43-102 there. And you've got Tornado a couple of times, you've got uh, Duke of Gloucester, you've got some Saturday class 5s, you've got the J27 up there. B12, Crab, Patriot, oh no, Royal Scott. And I think there's class 25 there as well. So all in all, this railway is very good. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so I'm now on the, the bridge and I'm waiting for someone to to come in. And here he comes.
Oh look, I just found me, Nigel. Yeah, 6007. Uh, it's a Nigel Gresley. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm, I'm going to have a ride on the miniature railway now. I'm just waiting for the train to arrive. So I'll film that coming in, and I'll uh, do a video of it going up and coming back down again. Comes the train I'll be on. There's green coaches. Um, the co on today oh, it's a uh, sort of giant. Hello. Down the train. Let's go.
That's the furthest that the Solange Grosley, the miniature version, has moved today. Yeah. Which is about five yards. Lovely. <laughs> How much yeah. is that worth? Now you've got little Joe over there. Number two. Where do you go about pricing something like that? I don't know. And I, I think you've got, I think these are mortal coaches, if I'm right. Well, I think. <laughs> they definitely look, I think there's seven. Yeah. Are, they, are they seven coaches? They are seven coaches. Exactly. I thought so they I'm might be. We've got them in, yeah. Yeah. Aristocrat. Oh. Aristocrat. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Very clever designed. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, How old's done. little Joe? How old's Joe here? Really? Ah. Uh, made it well then. Well, yeah, nothing's falling off yet. Don't say. <laughs> Interview with the driver. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Good times. Yeah, he's done a good job. That's right, yeah. We were here just then. And then, yeah, so yes is the answer, yeah. Been going well all day. Yeah. Yeah. As I said, where do you begin? How much does it work? Exactly. For Not as much as it takes to build it. That's what they asked. Twenty grand. <laughs> you couldn't build it for that. No. No, metal and copper and stuff. Oh, flipping it. It's got off the charts, isn't it? Yes, it's about. It's got off the charts now. Copper. Lovely. Okay, so that. Concludes today's Neen Bay, the, uh, Neen Bay Railway, and I'm good. And so, I think I hope you all enjoyed this uh, special edition of Day at the uh, Neen Bay Railway. And well, I hope you yeah, you should try out this uh, this amazing place. And you never know, you might be able to get here for Sonaja Gresley. Well, you, by the time this video comes out, he he, he would already gone. So, I thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more Day Out videos. Uh, goodbye from the Neen Valley Railway. Show shop of that engine. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more Day Out videos. Goodbye, everyone.